This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 21st. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and I always hate to start Weather Extreme videos in the middle of ongoing severe weather, but let's get started. The SkyCam imagery this morning from the Alpha SkyCam network, and it looks rather uh, tumultuous over Birmingham, and it looks even more tumultuous over Jasper, and of course Jasper closest to the storms right now. There's a look at our surface map, and we're dealing with a weak cold front that is moving through the area. Actually, it, perhaps maybe moderate would be a better choice of terms for that uh, front because we do have a nice squall line along and just ahead of that front. In the upper atmosphere, you can see the little shortwave trough uh, coming through the mid-Mississippi River Valley, and that is responsible for the thunderstorms that are currently ongoing. It is uh, quite cold across the north central United States with minus values up there. I noticed a couple of days ago, Wisconsin had three of the coldest temperatures in the country, the lower 48, that is, at minus 26. That's pretty chilly. But you can see it's very mild across the southern United States. And uh, Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk for today that uh, is centered primarily on a line from about Montgomery to just uh, south of Atlanta. Uh, and over into northern uh, South Carolina. And that uh, risk uh, for the possibility primarily of uh, hail and damaging wind, but isolated tornadoes are a possibility. And then on day two, which actually is going to be Sunday night and into Monday, uh, is the slight risk once again returning over a good portion of uh, much of the Mid-South, uh, stretching all the way from about Montgomery, all the way past Birmingham, up Nashville, uh, into the Paducah area and then back down uh, along the Mississippi River. Now, this morning, what one of the things we're dealing with, and I know the color scheme here is not too great, but uh, uh, trying to copy these charts quickly. This is from the Storm Prediction Center, and you can see the uh, Cape values over central Alabama, uh, around five, uh, just a little over 500, so uh, we do have some instability. And then in addition to that, we do have the helicity, which is why we have a tornado watch. And there's a look at the uh, tornado watch uh, as of about uh, 7 a.m., the tornado watch for uh, parts of uh, Tennessee, Alabama, and uh, Georgia. All right, let's get right to our model situation this morning and see what uh, is going on. And there's the trough coming through our flow. And by 18Z or uh, noon, it should be uh, positioned over um, uh, about Nashville or so, stretching uh, pretty much due south uh, to just west of Birmingham. So that means things should be improving for us. And you can see by 0Z, just six hours later, 6 p.m., that it's well into the Carolinas. And that should help to drag the front uh, away from us. This is 6 p.m. Uh, this evening. And so that should drag the front away and take much of the rain uh, to the south of us. Now let's go into uh, Sunday. This is midday. And here comes another very strong, much stronger than the one we're dealing with right now, but a very strong and a much deeper um, trough uh, coming out of the eastern Rockies. And of course, with that, we'll see a surface low forming uh, on the lee of the Rockies. And uh, GFS suggesting the surface low pretty elongated from all the way up around the, the eastern Dakotas all the way down into Oklahoma. Now, we're going to take an intermediate time. This is uh, midnight Sunday night or very early Monday morning, however you want to look at it. And the, the trough uh, goes positive tilt. And, of course, that means a very nice front that will be moving through the mid-Mississippi River Valley with a surface low over northern Illinois. And uh, just curious about how the European GFS are comparing, and actually comparing very well. The GFS is slightly deeper with a 996 low. Uh, the position, though, on both the European and the uh, GFS in pretty good agreement. Now, what we're looking at is a possibility of some severe weather. Once again, this will be overnight uh, into the early morning hours. This is uh, 3 a.m. on Monday, and you can see these are Cape values, and these Cape values are uh, approaching uh, in and around the 1,000 um, uh, joules per kilogram, so definitely uh, looks like the possibility of uh, some severe weather. Once again, it probably will be a squall line uh, linear situation, QLCS or a squall line. I prefer to use the older terminology. Now, by 18Z or uh, noon on Monday, uh, the surface low is up over the western Great Lakes, north of uh, our upper uh, peninsula of Michigan, and uh, we now see that uh, the front has moved past Alabama. So we should be clear out fairly quickly on Monday, but storms uh, definitely in the morning. 
Now let's get out a little bit further into Tuesday, and there we go where uh, we see our trough move on out across uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, and, of course, we're gradually coming under a weak ridge. But now we're dropping in another uh, upper trough and upper low over uh, Baja. And, of course, that should mean nice weather for the, much of the central part of the country. And as you can see, still mild, 540 thickness line in the Ohio River Valley, so certainly no cold air our way. Closed low over Baja actually digs further south. Uh, kind of interesting. Um, a little skeptical of this, but anyway, uh, we'll see what happens with time. This is a Wednesday at midday and a slight northwesterly flow, but certainly uh, mild for us. Uh, we stay in that almost that same pattern for Thursday uh, with the uh, closed low over northern Mexico. And finally, on Friday, that begins to come out across uh, northern Mexico and into extreme southern Texas. And uh, that uh, should uh, begin to, well, you can see with pumping up the ridge ahead of it, uh, will be warm. Also, moisture coming from the tropical latitudes, so uh, probably a chance for some showers, especially toward the latter part of the week. And then we get into uh, Saturday. The pattern becomes a lot more complex as uh, the, that uh, low is coming out of Mexico across Texas. And we have another one right behind it. And so the pattern, the surface pattern becomes very complex with a surface low over the Mid-South area, Arkansas and Memphis area. And uh, in addition to that, of course, a good deal of precipitation to come along with that. Although this is showing us essentially dry for much of the day on Saturday, uh, we certainly could have uh, scattered showers going on. Now, going, a going ahead and extending the forecast out even further, uh, we're still not seeing anything really cold. Now, it, it, GFS suggesting a little deeper trough uh, around the 31st, and we get into the 2nd. And, of course, this is a much colder look than what we've been seeing so far in much of January. Uh, so this is the 2nd of February. And then finally, in the upper air pattern, it still retains a little bit of at least a colder look. Uh, around the 5th. So perhaps some change is coming. Uh, the best thing to do today is to stay up with the blog with the latest updates uh, as uh, changes occur and minute by minute kind of things. And uh, I'm sure Bill and JB and I will be posting and maybe Tim will be in there. So keep up with the blog and uh, watch for the latest information. In the meantime, hope that you have a wonderful day. And by all means, please stay safe. Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>